In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make these panels that open up. So when you open the card, it pulls them open and you can see the different layers. You can also see it's connected by tabs. I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, this is probably the most complicated one, but it's still pretty simple. So as long as you follow along with the steps, you'll be able to um, have this amazing pop-up card. All right, as always, we're gonna start with just a plain piece of paper. Uh, I like to use cardstock because it's a lot thicker. You can use just plain copy paper, notebook paper, um, but the thicker, the better. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start by folding it in half because we need a good base. So once I fold it one way, I want to make sure that I fold it the other direction as well so that it opens both ways nice and easy, creasing it really well. All right, now you can see I have another piece of paper here. I decided to use the color green. Um, if you want to do, um, like I did on this one, I did snow, you can use white. Or if you want um, an ocean theme to maybe go along with one of the animals, uh, pop-up animals that you made, you can use blue. You can see I did little peaks for the waves and use um, the blue paper for this. But I'm going to use green. I'm going to show you um, another variation where we can add some trees and things like that, okay? All right, the first thing that we want to do is we want to cut two different panels and one is going to be larger and the other is going to be smaller. So you can see this one's bigger and this one's smaller, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my card I'm going to turn it sideways so you can see my fold. And I'm going to take my green paper and I'm going to line it up with my fold just so that I have an idea of how maybe tall I want this to be. If you want it to come all the way up to the middle of your background, that's fine. It's really up to you. I don't think I want mine to come up quite so high. So I'm going to take my pencil. I'm going to decide how high I want it to come up. Remember, this is your highest one. And then I'm just gonna do a line across. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight. You can see mine's a little bit wavy. Then I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut this one out. All right, once you have this cut out, you're gonna take your colored paper again and you're gonna do one that's just a little bit smaller, okay? So if I take this and I line it up, right, we don't want it to be as big, so I'm gonna put it behind. I don't want this to be as wide as this one. I want it to be a little shorter. So I'm gonna move it down just a little bit, okay? So you can see this one sticks out on this end just a little bit more, and you can see that if I were to cut right here, all right, then this is gonna be just a little bit shorter. So I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm just gonna put a little line of where I'm going to cut. I'm gonna move this. Now, in order to get a straight line all the way down, I'm not just gonna start cutting, because if I do that, then it's not gonna be very straight. I'm gonna take my green paper and I'm actually gonna fold it along that line. And I wanna make sure that my ends down here line up I'm gonna press it flat. There we go, so now when I unfold it, I have a straight line that I can cut on where my pencil mark was. All right, so you can see that I have this piece of paper when I line it up with the fold of my white paper. Okay, it's that tall, and then I have this strip of paper, and when I line up the bottom edge with the fold, all right, it is just a little bit shorter than the first strip. So you just want two strips of paper that have a straight bottom, um, and the top can be either peaks, like for the water, or it can be just kind of a wavy straight line, like what I have here. Now, the next step is to take these two strips of paper that are different thicknesses, all right? And we are going to fold the straight edge, and we just wanna make a little tab. It's kinda of hard to get straight folds on these, so I'm just gonna do the best that I can to fold the bottom of my paper straight across on both of them. Thank you. 
Now I have both of my folds folded and they each have this little flap on the bottom. We want it to be relatively thin, but not too thin or we won't have any space to put the glue. So my card is going to be a landscape with my two green layers and maybe some trees in between them. Because this is gonna be a landscape, that means that I wanna decorate my card as a landscape as well. Now you wanna make sure that you decorate your card before you glue these down, or it's gonna be really difficult to decorate. Now you can either take your green paper and glue it to the bottom half so that the whole thing is green, or you can color it in. It is completely up to you. Because I want this to be a landscape and I'm gonna add some trees and flowers and things, I'm gonna go ahead and do um, just kind of um, some trees in the background as well as maybe kind of some hills. All right, and I'm gonna color in this whole thing before I glue down my uh, little flaps. All right, now my background is decorated. I decided to do a sunset with trees so I can add some more trees here in a minute. You saw that I colored it in using marker and colored pencil. You can decorate your background however you want and that's just gonna be the top half of your card. So from the fold up, all right? So I decorated it so it's kind of like a landscape scene. You can do yours however you want. For example, this one, the background is decorated with these top spikes of water, with the sun, and then with my shark. So that's just the background. That's just the top half of my card. And then the bottom half is just solid blue, and I later added some of my little sticker under the sea creatures. All right, um, this one, the top half, is decorated with mountains. You can see I actually cut it out of a magazine. So the top half of my card is just a magazine cut out and then the bottom I just left white. All right, so it looked like it's snow. This one, I glued the rest of my green paper um, on top of this and you saw that I cut off any of the extra. So now I have my top half which is colored in and my bottom half which is just solid green. You can color this in and decorate it however you want as well. Now what we're going to do is we are going to take those two um, green, mine are green, right? Yours could be a different color, uh, flaps that we made that have this little flap along the bottom and we need to glue these down, all right? Now we don't want them to be too far apart from one another. We want them to be, I don't know, maybe two fingers width away. It can be further. I'm not going to measure perfectly. We just want to be relatively close and we want the flap to be facing that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to unfold both of my green flaps so that you can see that it's just one flat piece of paper. So I see where my fold is, but I'm going to go ahead and just flatten these out real quick, okay? All right, the first thing we're going to do, I'm still going to use a glue stick for this. So you're going to want to be careful because we are only going to put glue on this little, here I'm gonna move this, you can see, on this little bitty fold right here. All right, so you can see my fold line right here, and we're only going to put glue on this half, all right, that little bitty tab that we folded down. I'm going to use my wide one first and save my smaller one next. The first thing that I wanna do is I'm gonna take my glue stick and I only want to put glue on this little bitty tab right here. It might be kinda of hard to only keep the glue on that tab, but I'm gonna do the best I can. Liquid glue tends to get all over the place and it's really hard to keep it where you want it. Notice I'm just using the edge of my glue so that I don't get glue all over the place. And I'm only doing it along this little bitty tab right here. All right, 
right, so you can see I have glue from my fold laying down. Now I want to take this tab that has glue. I'm gonna go over to the bottom part of my card, so from the fold below. I'm gonna turn it over and I'm going to press it flat, okay, right down here. Now you can see how far away it is from my fold line. It's about two fingers, maybe a little bit less away from my fold line. So here's my fold line and then here's where my tab starts, is right along here. So I left a little bit of space. So when it folds up, there's a little bit of space right here, all right, of my uh, bottom of my card, okay? Now we're gonna do the next one, the smaller one, and this one is actually gonna go up underneath this one just a little bit, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and press this down. I'm gonna let it dry just a smidge before I fold it up, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add some glue to the small tab along our little one before I glue it onto here. All right, now I've added glue along this little bitty tab that we have folded. You can see there's my fold line. So it's from the fold to the edge of my paper. So I kept the glue on this little bitty space. Now I'm gonna go back to my background, which is the bottom, this bottom of my card here. And I'm going to fold this one up just a little bit. I'm kind of pressing it down so it doesn't lift. The glue isn't quite dry, but that's okay. Okay, I'm gonna fold this up so I can see how far away from this I want to fold or uh, want to glue this down. You don't want to glue it too far away, or um, it's not gonna pull up properly. All right, so I'm gonna turn this over and I'm gonna glue it fairly close. Okay, maybe a little less than two fingers away from this guy, okay? All right, now once you do that, you're gonna press both of them down nice and smooth, and then give it just a few seconds to dry. Once these are dry, you can lift them up and see that we have these two flaps right here that are going to make our card pop. So it'll look something like this when it opens up, and you can kind of see my green hills in the background a little bit. Now we need to add the tabs that go down inside of here that are actually going to pull these hills up when we open the card. I've cut a little bit of my green paper to use as tabs. You can see on this one, I also used the same color paper, okay, for my tabs right here. Or you can use whatever color paper you have. I think it looks good if it's the same color just in case you accidentally see them a little bit. Um, but you can use whatever paper you need, okay? Or whatever paper you have. All right, now this is going to be probably the most complicated part of um, this project, but it's still not that difficult, so I'm pretty sure I know that you guys are able to do this, maybe even just a little bit of help. But I have here four pieces of paper. You can see they're four rectangles. You don't want them to be too thin or um, they might rip or tear in your card. And the goal is to get these glued in between. And we actually have a pretty easy way of doing that. But before we can glue them down, we need to make sure that they are the right size. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and lay these black down flat. And I'm going to take two tabs. These are gonna be the ones that go from my uh, background to my first flap here. And I'm going to take them and I'm going to bend the very end of them, one end, to be just a teeny little flap like what we had on these. Okay, so I bent one end so that it's a nice little flap. You don't have to bend it both directions. You can just bend it down once. I'm gonna do the same to this one. Nice, all right, so I have these two with the flap. I want to leave the flaps bent, okay? And then I'm going to take these and I'm going to line them up with my fold right here. So this is where my card folds. I'm going to take these and I'm going to line them up, okay, with the bent end, the little tab end, Okay, on my fold. So both have the little tab on them and this little folded line is gonna line up with the fold in my card. 
All right, so you guys can see that. Now, if this isn't perfect, it's not a big deal. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pencil. I'm going to use a marker so you can see it. And I'm going to make a little line on this end where the fold of my tab is. So I'm going to make a little line right here and a little line right here. Now, this is the end of my paper. This is where it's glued down. We don't want to make a mark where it's glued down right here. We're going to go all the way to the fold of our paper and we want to make a line that is even with that fold. Okay? All right, so I'm going to take my tabs now that have this little mark on them. You can see that they are folded on this end right here. And then on this end, there's a little line. And this should actually be the distance from this fold to this fold. So that when we uh, put our tab in, it'll fit perfectly. It should be the same distance, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. Here's this folded end. I'm gonna fold my paper along this line right here that has my marker line on it. So now I have a piece of paper that has two folded Ends. And if this paper has a lot of leftover paper, you can cut a little bit of it off. But mine doesn't have too much, so I'm just going to leave it the way that it is. So this is my first fold. It's actually going to go right here. And then my second piece of paper, my second tab, I need to fold along this line. Now it has two folded tabs. Notice the tabs come down on both ends. We don't want one sticking up and one sticking down. One come down almost like a little chair, a little seat. All right, and this one is actually gonna go right here. Okay, now we're not gonna glue them in yet. I'm gonna show you a really easy way to do that. Gluing these in is actually not that complicated. So for right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and set these off to the side. And I know that these are going to go right here in this space between my biggest tab and my background, okay? All right, go ahead and lift up this tab. I'm gonna take my next two small rectangle pieces and I'm gonna fold one end down just like I did on the others. Okay, so there's one. Here's my other one. All right, so now both of these have one folded end. We wanna make sure and keep those folded. We're not gonna unfold them. And we're gonna do the same thing that we did with our first tabs where we measure to make sure that they are the right length to go in between our pull tabs right here, okay? All right, so what we're gonna do is we are gonna take these, we are going to line them up with the fold right here, which is the end of my paper. So I took my folded end, my little tab end right here, I laid it down so that both folds line up. Same thing with this one. I took my little tab end, okay, I laid it down so that it matches. Now again, if it's not perfect, that's fine. All right, so now all of my folds line up. So I'm gonna take my pencil again. I'm gonna use a marker so you can see it a little bit better. And I'm going to go from this fold to this fold. Don't go to the end of your paper, because that'll be too short. I'm gonna to go to this folded line, and I'm gonna make a little line of where that is. Okay, so now you can see I went from this fold right here to this folded line and I made a mark on my tabs of how far away that was. Now I'm going to take my little tab and I'm going to bend along this line. I'm going to bend it down. Okay, so now it looks like a little bench. One side's a little longer than the other. You can trim it or you can just leave it. I'm just going to go ahead and leave mine. Then I'm gonna take this one, I'm also going to bend it along that marker line. There we go. All right, so you can see it looks like another little seat, okay? So these two tabs are actually going to go right here on this side. Now, we are actually going to glue these down first, and then we're going to glue these. And I'm going to show you how to do that. It's not too complicated, but we do want to make sure the glue stays only 
on our tabs, the little folded part. We don't want to put glue anywhere else or our card will get glued together, okay? All right, the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to take these tabs, we are going to leave this bottom side folded, and we're going to unfold this top, okay? And I'm gonna put it down real quick. All right, so same thing on this one. I'm gonna leave this bottom side folded, and then I want to unfold this top side, okay? All right, so I'm gonna put that down real quick as well. All right, now you can see I have my two tabs. This side is unfolded, and this side is folded. It's folded under, so you can see my little tab right here. We are ready to put glue on our teeny tiny little folded tabs and then push them down onto our big panel right here, okay? Now notice that I don't have these way out to the end or way in the middle. You wanna keep them in the middle of this way and then in just a little bit so that it pulls evenly. So you want them about there, okay? You don't want this one high and this one low, right? You don't want them up or down. You want them about in the middle, okay? So that they pull your panel open evenly. All right, so I'm gonna take my glue stick and I'm gonna put glue on my little bitty flaps. So you can see that this flap is actually glued down. So if I were to unflap, you can see I already glued this tab down. And then when you push it over, this tab at the very, very top has glue on it, but it's not glued down, okay? And you can see this tab right here is glued, but when I push it down, the top tab is not glued down, but it has glue on it, okay? All right, so here are my two tabs, and they have glue on the very top of where we folded. I'm gonna make sure that they're flat. Then I'm going to take my top panel and fold it down and push down on it. Okay, now you don't want to unfold this to check it until it's totally dry, all right? But when you unfold it, your two tabs should be glued to this one and to the bottom one. Now we need to glue this one to our background, and we're actually going to do the same thing where we take our tabs, we leave the bottom folded, okay, so we're going to pinch that, and then we go to the top and we unfold the top, all right? And we're gonna put glue on the folded part down here as well as on the little tab part up here. But remember, this one stays unfolded. But we wanna keep all of the glue right here on top, all right? But these bottom ones get glued onto our panels right here. All right, now that we've glued both of these tabs down, you can see that there's glue on the top bent part on our top little bitty tab, all right? But those are unfolded, and then if you open these, you can see that these are actually folded down and glued on, all right? All right, the next thing to do is make sure that these are flat. We're gonna take the top part of our card, and we are actually just gonna fold it over and press it really, really well, okay? to make sure that those tabs get nice and glued onto our background. Now you're gonna leave it for a minute, let it go ahead and dry, and then we're gonna open it and we'll see our tabs. All right, once it's dry, you can open your card and you'll see that your tabs have been glued down and it should open with these popping out. Now, at this point, you can decorate anything else you want. For example, I cut out, I colored and cut a tree. I can glue it inside of this tab if I want to, 
or on top of this one. You just want to make sure that when you do that, that you only glue the bottom half that's going to be on the tab. You don't want to glue the whole thing because not all of it is going to be glued down. Also, you want to make sure that it stops at the bottom. You don't want it to get glued onto your flat paper because then it's not going to close all the way. Okay, you only want to glue it to the tab. You could glue um, a house, you could glue flowers, trees. If you're doing a landscape like I am, right, you can glue all kinds of things to these tabs so that when you close it and then you open it back up, it's right there. You can see on this one, I um, put a little crab. I could glue a few more things into my waves if I wanted to. Um, on this one with my skiing guy, I cut him out of a magazine and I glued him to my front snow tab. So you can see what that looks like. I made sure that I didn't glue it down here. I only glued it on my tab. And I didn't put glue all on the back. I only put glue on this bottom half that was gonna be touching my tab. So now I have a funny snow scene. I cannot wait to see what you come up with. Bye for now.